when I joined the Polytechnic, it was located at the Prince Edward Road campus. Compared to the present day, it is a very small campus with a few slab blocks, you know, more like a housing block type of flats, you know. In those days, the campus is considered out of the Chinatown area and we normally have to walk a long way along Maxwell Road to reach the campus. Now, Student Union Days, that's in my second year. I joined the union because I needed to get engaged with the people who were supplying the funds for the formation of a band which I became involved in. It was a pet project that uh, I, I, I took. We had one of the best um, times of our lives when we went to Bintan together. The whole cohort, we went to Bintan on a filming trip. The memory, the process of getting that done was so meaningful because, you know, at night we get to play, uh, we get to, you know, like, get to, get to know each other a lot better. So I think the trip as a whole was really um, a morale booster for, for all of us. It's good bonding session, you know. The time I remember most is exam period in SP. But the most fun part is like when your classmates together study and then uh, maybe we'll share answers of exam papers and maybe a joke about the paper like what do you think will come for the paper and stuff like that. Working on a project for Junior Food, uh, Frozen Food Company, um, during this project my group and I had to evaluate and improve on the current yam paste that they have. So throughout these two months we actually source for different types of yam and we actually um, grate them, boil them, steam them and prepare them into uh, yummy yam paste which turned us off because we actually ate yam paste for a whole of two months. As a student I remember I was very active and um, one of the things that uh, without fail I will join is the Poly 50 and because my department uh, there's very few girls so without fail they will always be calling us to participate. And I remember one special year is the Poly 30. Uh, we call it Poly 30 because it's the 30th anniversary. Yeah, and Escapade, we had a lot of training for it. To think about all the nights, we stay up until nights to train for the whole event. It was very like memorable. We can really look back at all the memories. We even start singing out of nowhere. Like, it was at night, then it, the whole school was very quiet. Then we just started singing Lion King songs. Then I think one of us just started like a wimble walk, a wimble walk. And then the behind just continued, in the jungle. Then the whole song continues. I was also, I was also singing. I think I was the one that continued. My favourite places is in Steel Prince Edward Road, where we do have a conference room. They call the C401. This conference room is very special and memorable is that during our lunchtime break, all the secretaries and all the staff, all the clerical staff will gather in this room and to share a lot of things, share bosses' tale, whatever things we wanted to talk. Bali is a very special place for me because it's where I found my true love and that is my husband. And we actually met when we came back as a, a alumni to help out in our clubs. I had three sons and they, know, they actually followed my footsteps. It's not influenced by me, but you know, I think you know, uh, among you know, all the five you know, polytechnics, uh, I've opened up for them to select you know, which uh, campus they would like you know, to join. Yeah, I'm glad they, you know, they've chosen you know, SP, which you know, is where I started from. One of my favourite memories as a teaching staff in 1982 is uh, my first class of students and uh, that was a very, very interesting memory. You know, never occurred to me that I would be standing in front you know, of a group of uh, students. Uh, that you know, actually inspired me is to uh, continue you know, my profession as a teacher. I treasure my SP memories and I'm sure there are more to come. My SP memories are awesome. These are my SP memories. These are my SP memories. We all have our SP memories. What about you? That's my first class of students. You are, you are interviewing them also, is it? Hello. Yeah, Ben. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm so, so happy, you know, so that, you know, yes. I don't feel, you know, stressed already. Yeah, right. I'm more relaxed already, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, with this group, then I'm so relaxed already. You. Surely, yeah, you should have come earlier to relax. <laughs> <laughs> These are my SP memories. Yeah. yeah.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sun An, your MC for this graduation ceremony. To start off, we will be screening some announcements. There will be videos after the announcements. Do sit back and enjoy the videos as you look back at the three years the graduates spent at the Polytechnic. The videos also include highlights of principal speech at session one of the graduation ceremony. Finally, if you are receiving your diploma, please return to your seats after you have collected your diploma. Please remain seated and avoid moving around or talking during the ceremony. Thank you for your cooperation. Graduation is the highlight of SP's calendar because on this occasion we celebrate your success and we cheer you on as you embrace the future before you after having spent three fruitful years with us. This occasion is also especially meaningful for me because three years ago I stood before you welcoming you to SP as our freshman. Many of you were excited to begin your life at SP some were perhaps a little nervous. Through the three years, I've gotten to know many of you well and seen how you have all blossomed and matured. Today, my heart is filled with joy as I look out at all the bright young faces before me, proud that you have all become confident young men and women, ready to take on the world. You represent the hope and promise of our nation. As you look forward to your future, I want to point your attention to the Polytechnic's motto inscribed on the SP crest. 
The phrase reads, Bakit mat dengan kealian. Translated, it means to serve with skill. It was given to us in 1960 by Singapore's first Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of SP's Board of Governors, the late Dr. To Chin Chai. This phrase is especially meaningful to us because it reminds us of our mission to mold and nurture young talents so that they can go out and make a difference to society. And this call for us to serve humanity is one that we continue to strive to live up even today. We are very delighted to receive a feedback from a parent of a graduate of this course. My son Dexter learned much about teamwork, communication and presentation skills, innovation and creativity. He had the opportunity to participate in overseas exchange and immersion programs. I'm happy to see my son being transformed into a confident, articulate and motivated young man. Thanks to SP curriculum, he has many choices. Today, as I bid you farewell as a student, I welcome you as an alumnus of the great SP family. You have many memories of SP, and I encourage you to share them in the SP Memories Portal. Stay close to your friends you have made during your years here, for these are friendships that will last a lifetime. Stay connected with your lecturers, for they, continue, for they can continue to advise and encourage you as you move on to the next phase of your life. You will always be part of the SP family. And we look forward to hearing of your many achievements in time to come and celebrating them with you. As our graduates, SP will always be proud of you. Thank you. Welcome to Paradise. As a national athlete, I have to represent Singapore in many overseas competitions. As a result, I have to skip school quite often. But my lecturers have been very supportive by putting in extra time to help me catch up with schoolwork and alter assignment deadline. Without their support, this dream would not have been possible. The proudest moment in SP was when I won the bronze medal in SEA Games. It made all the hours I skipped school for overseas training worthwhile. During my attachment in Jurong Island, I have to do overnight shift work. My teammate and I had to ensure the smooth operation of the plant. It was an eye-opening experience as what we were taught in school were put into practice. I chose SP, Diploma in Business Information Technology, because I could have the best of both worlds to acquire soft skills like business and technical skills like IT, which will aid me in my future career. The proudest moment was to stand on the international stage, competing with 32 teams from all over the world, sharing our SIFE SP journey and the work we have done. Being the youngest and the only polytechnic team, we jumped for joy when we qualified for the semi-finals and we were happy that we are able to be the voice of the people, the children in the orphanage, and the people in the surrounding district and we have made a positive difference to their lives. I will miss my friends, my lecturers from this awesome experience. I've always wanted to be a computer engineer and knowing SP is well known for its engineering courses, it was a natural choice. I was wowed by the top-notch technologies that SP has and I knew they had made the correct choice. My proudest moment? Hmm, it will be getting the Model Student Award because I never thought that I would ever receive such an honour. I always imagined myself as an average student and this award was a pleasant surprise and a great reward for all my hard work. I went for an overseas community involvement program in Vietnam with 19 other SP students. The purpose of the trip was to teach the Vietnamese primary school students oral communication skills. We had an enriching experience, even though there were communications breakdown here and there. Given an opportunity, I'll definitely want to go back there again. This is Fuko. 
Court 1 and this is the place where I eat most of the time. Food Court 1 will be torn down soon to make way for newer facilities. I will definitely miss the food in SP and cherish the memories I have of this place. In my second year, I participated in Poly Forum, whereby representatives from the five polys came together and discussed topics such as the future issues of Singapore. We even presented our findings to the Minister of Education. I thank SP for giving me the chance to be part of this event. One lecturer that has deeply influenced me would be the late Miss Jacqueline Ho. She was my final year project facilitator. She has always been understanding and always ready to help. I would like to thank all SP lecturers for making our SP experience so colourful. I entered the Diploma in Experience and Product Design with zero design knowledge. But with the training and guidance from our lecturers and inspirations from industry professionals, I discovered my passion for design. I spent days and nights in this studio working with my friends. Over time, we developed an attachment to this studio and this became our second home. My friends and I bonded through helping one another meet tight deadlines. I'll miss those nights we spent together rushing our projects in school. During my second year, I was given the opportunity to go to Milan, Italy to exhibit the works of the XPD students. During our 12 days there, we had to curate our exhibition and share with others what our projects are all about. We were excited and happy when some of them expressed interest in commercialising them. We also got to see other works by designers from all over the world. It was a very good exposure and we enjoyed every moment. At the end of year one, I went for a leadership camp and at that point in time, I didn't believe that I would be able to survive the night out in the jungle and sleep in a hammock, but I did it. I believe that through this camp, I have become a stronger person. The place where I like most in SP is the Hilltop Library. I enjoy spending time in the library between lessons and doing projects as it is like a home away from home. I'll be pursuing a double degree in business and accountancy at NTU after I graduate from SP. I want to thank my lecturers, Mr. Kong Yuan Ho and Ms. Tan Yuan Yuan for believing in me and constantly providing me with guidance in heading the DAC chapter. My greatest achievement is receiving my first silver and bronze medal at the Polytechnic IT Archery Championships 2011. It wasn't easy as I'm allergic to the sun, but with great determination and the huge support from my teammates, I was able to win these medals and I want to thank my friends for their huge support. I chose SP Aeronautical Engineering as my first choice as I've always been passionate about aviation. SP provided me with a holistic education and gave me opportunities to develop my potential to the fullest. I went for my overseas attachment at Pratt Rainy in Beijing during my second year. It was an eye-opener for me as it was the first time I worked on a commercial aircraft engine. It was a privilege to work at Pratt Rainy, a world-leading aero engine manufacturer. One of my most memorable experiences was a community service trip to Inner Mongolia. We planted over a thousand trees to help save the environment and also prevented sandstorm across Beijing. We had a lot of fun and I would like to do it again. I was the president of SB Trading Club. My team and I train three times a week. With constant motivation and encouragement from teammates, we managed to win the overall champion title of the 2011 National Cheerleading Championship. SP lecturers are very helpful, encouraging and supportive. Wherever we need help, they are more than happy to provide us with advice. Without them, we wouldn't have gotten to this far. And to all SP lecturers, a very big thank you to you. I miss the gym, the library, the greenery and campus. They may seem like little things, but they provide a conducive environment for both work and play. My proudest moment in SP was to be the pioneer batch of the softball team. We participated in many competitions and this allowed me to develop leadership skills and also to become a better team player.
I was top student in my first year and I didn't expect that at all. It wasn't a goal that I had, but I did it and it made me really happy and, and proud of myself. And I got the chance to do this play. It was called The Monkey's Paw. It's a terrible thing to be so far away and not able to make sure your, your child gets a decent burial. It was definitely one of my most memorable experiences here because we really put a lot of effort and, and work into it and it was beautiful. I was one of the first DJs on our campus radio station, Space Radio. It taught me a lot about presenting and uh, I even got to host a show with the Muttons from 91.3 FM. That was one of the most fun things I got to do in SP. A big congratulations to all fellow graduates. We've been working very hard for this day to arrive. I hope you enjoy our SP life as much as I did. Now, all each of us has to do is go out there and grab life by the horns. Wish you all the best and success in pursuing your dreams. Plan well, aim for excellence, study hard and success will follow. But if ever you feel like you can't do that, just remember something that Winston Churchill said. We are all worth. But I believe I'm a glow worm. With SP, it's so possible. Each year, Singapore Polytechnic is proud to honor our top graduates, outstanding individuals who have achieved academic excellence and embraced holistic education. This year, we pay tribute to the following eight graduates who have made their mark of distinction with us. For Go Sukai, music is language. This former Anderson Secondary School student achieved an O-level aggregate of five points. Whilst he could have chosen to go to a junior college, he knew that the diploma in music and audio technology would serve his passion in music well. This musically talented young man who plays the piano, bass guitar, drums and violin was the leader of the SP Jazz Band. He took great pains to raise the standards of the band and it paid off when the band held a sell-out performance at the Esplanade this year for the annual SP Jazz Concert. Sukai also believes in using music to reach out to communities. He is part of a symphonic band that reaches out to audiences here and in Malaysia. This Lee Kuan Yew Award winner with a perfect GPA hopes to secure a National Arts Council scholarship to study music at the esteemed Berkeley College of Music in Boston, USA. Coming from a humble background, life was not easy for Ko Shi Min. Yet, it did not stop this former Peihua Secondary School student from pursuing her dream in the Diploma in Biomedical Science. So determined was she to get into the course that she applied under the direct Polytechnic Admission Exercise and scored an impressive 5 points for her O-level examinations. To ease her parents' financial burden, Shimin worked part-time. She made such a positive impression during her internship at the National Healthcare Group Polyclinics that they offered her a part-time position as a local medical technician. Despite having to juggle studies and work, Shimin still found time to give back to the community. She organized the school's health mapping exercise, which provides health checks for the lesser communities. To broaden her vision, she went on community trips to China and Vietnam, where she taught English to children and gave lessons on hygiene to the villagers. Graduating with a near-perfect GPA, this Lee Kuan Yew Award winner has been accepted into the National University of Singapore's Yong Lu Lin School of Medicine. SP's Diploma in Engineering with Business course was the obvious choice for Ong Yong Lin, a former student at Riverside Secondary School. He knew that the course would give him the foundation to fuel his passion to be an entrepreneur. This Lee Kuan Yew Award winner not only won the first prize in the inaugural SP Mobile Festival, he also clinched first prize in the Google Innovation and Enterprise Challenge with his teammates. During his internship at Motorola Mobility, Yong Lin helped to develop a mobile application to simplify information access protocol. The application won praises from the management team. 
Yonglin also initiated a children book project called Stories for Kids, together with fellow students from the SP Outstanding Talent Program. The proceeds went to the Straits Times Pocket Money Fund. In all his successes, Yonglin credits the caring lecturers who have motivated him throughout his years in SP. With his near-perfect GPA, Yonglin has been offered places to study computer science in both Nanyang Technological University and National University of Singapore. For the ever-effervescent Wong Yen Tin, the Diploma in Media and Communication was the perfect fit after graduating from Ni'an Secondary School. She's thankful for her choice and has never looked back. Her journey in SP could not have been more exciting. During her second year, her research on cyberbullying, together with her course mates, led the team to present their findings to a large media turnout that included Channel News Asia, The Straits Times, Yahoo and Lianhe Zaba. She was also a delegate leader at the United Nations Model Conference held in Princeton University, USA, which was attended by tertiary students from all over the world. For Yentin, her seven-day community involvement trip to Bangladesh invoked deep self-reflections. It opened her heart to be more accepting and giving to the less fortunate. Yenting is the proud recipient of the To Chin Chai Gold Medal and has on offer the Nanyang Scholarship from Nanyang Technological University as well as a place at the University of Liverpool. Jessica Lee's first visit to SP left such a favourable impression on her that she decided SP would be her next stop after she graduates from Tanjung Katong Girls School. She was the president for the Diploma in Accountancy chapter and also the treasurer of the SP Archery Club. A key highlight of Jessica's SP journey would be her internship programme at KPMG. The exposure gave her valuable experience of the working world and convinced her that she has made the right choice in choosing accountancy and coming to SP. Her desire to serve the community saw Jessica getting involved in an overseas community project to Inner Mongolia. She continued her community service by joining the Leo Club, an international movement that develops leadership qualities in individuals through community work. Graduating with an impressive near-perfect GPA, this Lo Kwan On gold medal winner has been offered places at both Nanyang Technological University with the Nanyang Scholarship and the National University of Singapore to pursue accountancy and business. With nine A's for his O level examinations, Song Shang Chien ranked a top junior college as his first and SP as his second choice. However, he decided to remain true to his passion towards health and nutrition and chose to study the Diploma in Nutrition, Health and Wellness at SP. Shang Qian, who joined SP from Woodlands Ring Secondary School, extended his interest in health and wellness to his CCAs. He would participate in health fairs, blood donation drives and conferences or forums related to nutritional issues. Keen to broaden his horizons, Shang Qian took part in leadership camps. He went on a community service trip to Cambodia where he taught English to children and also conducted health screening for the villagers. For his internship program, Shang Qian went to the Massey University in New Zealand, renowned for his food science degree program. Scoring a perfect GPA, Shang Qian has been awarded the Chua Chua Tik Gold Medal. He will be taking up a Ministry of Health Overseas Scholarship to pursue a degree in dietetics. What Amanda Yeo Tian Yu wanted after graduating from Siglap Secondary School was a course that combines both science and design. SP's Diploma in Architecture was a course of choice. Amanda cultivated a love for architecture at SP. She went on many overseas trips to Asian countries which deepened her understanding of architectural development and the importance of environmental sustainability. Her most memorable overseas experience was the Green Desert Project in Inner Mongolia, jointly organized by SP and Asian Journeys. She was so inspired that she collaborated with Asian Journeys to organize the Youth and Environmental Stewardship Forum which was held on Earth Day this year. 
Another memorable experience was an internship with renowned local architectural firm Arc Studio, which designed the Pinnacle at Duxton. This first Tan Kei Yong gold medal winner has started her degree program in architecture and sustainable design at the Singapore University of Technology and Design with a scholarship. Her dream is to start her own architectural company one day. Alan Yo Jin Xiong's educational success is an inspiration. Marked by failures in the earlier years, this former student from Montford Secondary School only realized the importance of an education while serving his national service with the police force. Determined not to fail any longer, Alan led a regimented lifestyle fueled by a strong desire to succeed. He graduated as the top student of ITE College Central in 2010. With his outstanding results, Alan went straight into the second year of his Diploma in Electrical and Electronic course in SP and also received the LKY STEP Award. Besides studying hard, Alan also participated in sports activities, self-management workshops and volunteered in community services. He continued working throughout his years at SP in order not to burden his parents. Today, Alan has graduated with a perfect GPA and is the proud recipient of the Tay Eng Soon Gold Medal. Alan has secured a direct entry to second year at both Nanyang Technological University and the National University of Singapore to study electrical and electronic engineering. These top graduates have done Singapore Polytechnic proud. Their stories will serve to inspire others to achieve academic greatness and to live their dreams. We wish them the very best as they embark on the next part of their journey after SP. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony will begin shortly. Please switch off your handphones or put them on silent mode if you haven't done so. We have, get, we have arranged for official photographers to take photos of all graduates receiving the diplomas. There's no need to come to the front to take photographs during the ceremony. I will be inviting you to stand when the academic procession enters and leaves the 
Convention Hall. Lastly, dear graduates, please ensure that you have your admission ticket and identity card with you before joining the queue to receive the scroll box on stage. You will be issued with a card lock on ID and password as you leave the stage. Please keep the card as you will need it to place your order for photos. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Gentlemen, please be seated. Our guest speaker, Dr. Keith Carpenter, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the 52nd graduation ceremony of the Singapore Polytechnic. At this fourth session, we will be presenting diplomas and other awards to graduates from the School of Chemical and Life Sciences. Our guest speaker this afternoon is Dr. Keith Carpenter, Executive Director of the A-Star Institute of Chemical and Engineering Sciences. Dr. Carpenter has been the Executive Director of the A-Star Institute of Chemical and Engineering Sciences since its foundation in 2002. Prior to working in Singapore, Dr. Carpenter was a Senior Fellow at the Global Specialist Technology Group and a Global Process Engineering Competence Manager in Syngenta, responsible for strategic technology development and technical support. Currently, Dr. Carpenter is also an adjunct professor in NUS and was formerly a visiting professor in several universities in the UK. He has served on many government and professional committees. Dr. Carpenter is also Chairman of the Institution of Chemical Engineers in Singapore and Chairman of the Singapore Chemical Standards Committee. It is now my pleasure to invite Dr. Keith Carpenter to deliver the graduation address. Dr. Carpenter, please.
Mr. Tan Han Chong, Principal, Singapore Polytechnic. Distinguished guests, graduands, parents, friends, and supporters, staff of Singapore Poly, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a great pleasure for me and an honor to be here today at the 52nd Singapore Polytechnic graduation ceremony. Firstly, I would like to add my own personal congratulations and to applaud all graduands and award winners from the School of Chemical and Life Sciences on your outstanding achievements. If you graduands could just cast your mind back three years to the day that you sat in this very convention center for your freshman orientation, you may wonder just where the time has gone. And yet on the other hand, you may be amazed at just how much has happened and how much you've achieved in what actually is a relatively short time in your lives. I can still remember my own graduation, even though I have to admit it was an extremely long time ago. And this is a very special moment for you. You should treasure this memory. Keep it in your heart as you move forward into the next phase of your life. My own first reaction on my graduation was a sigh of relief. Whew, I've done it. We've actually now made it. You are graduating. But along with a sense of relief comes a sense that things are now different. You're older, you're very much wiser, you're more confident, more mature, and ready to take your own place in the world. I could say, welcome to the real world, this is where it starts. You came into this hall as a student, but you leave as a young adult, perfectly capable of making your own mark on society. You've become responsible for yourself, capable of making your own decisions, making choices, and of course, facing the consequences of your actions. The pride you now feel in what you've achieved will live with you and will grow through the many more achievements that now lie before you on the road ahead. Similarly, your parents look on you proudly. I know how they feel. I've watched my own children graduate and I felt an immense sense of pride in what they've achieved. At the same time, there's a slight tinge of sadness for them to realize that the little child that they raised and nurtured is no longer actually a little child, but is now grown into a friend and a colleague. Your parents are very rightly proud of you. They recognize that this is your achievement, not theirs. They've supported you, they've encouraged you, maybe cajoled you at times and been a, sense, a source of strength in challenging times. But it's your own effort that in the end has got you here today. I know that many of you will have surprised yourselves in what you've achieved, having distinguished yourself more than you might have imagined. I know too that there will be some of you who may be disappointed, having perhaps not done as well as you believed you could. Whatever is the case, I congratulate you all. This is a great learning experience for you, and you should look on it that way. As you go through life, you should never stop learning from achievements and from mistakes. When you achieve great things, Understand why and how, so you can do it again. If you slip up, analyze why and learn from your mistakes and grow and become all the better for it. Looking at the range of diplomas and course modules, along with the overseas programs and service to community, I'm extremely impressed with the learning opportunities that you've been able to experience in this relatively short span of three years. I know that some of you have experienced learning and living in Beijing, Dalian, and Dublin through the programs with the Beijing University of Chemical Technology, the Dalian Polytechnic University, and the Dublin Institute of Technology. I noticed particularly that the students in Dublin didn't miss the chance to go to the Guinness headquarters. Very wise, I, I must say. The, it isn't a coincidence that in many industry visits from chemical engineering and chemical technology departments around the world, it's always the brewery visits that are the most popular and often the most memorable. Overseas experience always adds value and is a great opportunity for learning. For those of you who have not yet been able to work overseas, I would seriously recommend some form of international placement or exposure as a way of broadening your horizons and your thinking. In my own case, my wife spent two years in the USA and later four years in Beijing, and I know that that changed her outlook and her life in many ways. 
in my own case, although I had actually never lived abroad for any significant time before I came to Singapore, I did have responsibilities and manage projects and teams across Europe and in the USA as well as in Scotland and in England. And I always, without fail, found business trips overseas and stays overseas a valuable and character building exercise. Having to manage the different approaches to problem solving and to career development between Switzerland, France, Holland, Germany, North Carolina, Texas, uh, and California was always for me a great learning exercise. It can be incredibly frustrating at times, of course, but never dull and very often surprisingly creative and positive. There were many, many times that I started out with the mission of explaining to these people just how things should be done and very many times that I learned that there are always alternatives and maybe better ways of doing things. I learned a lot from those experiences. Overseas internships for students are much more than simply an academic exchange program. They require you to soak up the social, economic, cultural and historical aspects of your host countries. You begin to see the world from your host perspective, enriching your own worldview in the process. So now, after all of the hard work, and of course all the fun times that you've had, you may be wondering what to do now. Now what happens? Now you have the freedom to choose, but how to decide? I'm reminded of the many times A-star scholars have asked me how to choose a particular course or a university, or how to choose a PhD supervisor. I act as a mentor for several of them, and my answer is always the same. What do you have a passion for? What excites you? What are you really interested in? What would you actually like to do? The school brought to my attention the case of one of your peers, Chu Wei Guang, a diploma in, in food science and technology graduate. I'm told he won the first prize in the food photography competition by producing outstanding and stunning photographs. But what particularly impressed me with this story was that he said, I didn't participate in this competition for the monetary benefits. It's the recognition of my work from the public that gives me the confidence and motivation to pursue my passion for food photography. Notice the word passion is in there. It's an outstanding example of a brave and committed young man who I'm sure will go far. I was told of another notable example of passion from one of you here, Leonard Ong from the Diploma in Chemical Engineering, an accomplished sailor and windsurfer, and the winner of a bronze medal in the 26 Southeast Asian Games. A remarkable achievement to be able to perform at such a high level and to carry on a successful academic course. Very well done to that young man. Leonard commented, the lecturers and my classmates are the key reason for the success of this outing as they gave me time off to train and they spend extra time in helping me to catch up with studies. I know there is a young man who appreciates and understands the value of friendship, the value of his colleagues, and the value of those around him. I learned that the pioneering batch of students in the Diploma in Nutrition, Health and Wellness are graduating today. Well done to the first batch. These students, I'm told, gave free health screening at the Live Enable Showcase 2011 in collaboration with the Centre for Enabled Living. A similar health checkup was also given to residents of Ulu Pandan during Community Wellness Day. These are outstanding examples of giving back to the community and of gaining valuable experience whilst broadening your own mind through community service. You are to be commended for that and I congratulate you all. Very well done. I noticed from the school website that you have been busy with community projects all over the world from refurbishing a kindergarten in China, rainwater harvesting and classroom rebuilding in Nepal, to the setting up of a mobile clinic and conducting hygiene courses in Cambodia. These are all excellent examples of a commitment to society and to the world, and I congratulate you all involved in those activities. One of the greatest challenges facing mankind today is the issue of climate change. Through successive generations and our historical ignorance, We've created a situation where we will be faced with greater extremes in weather patterns, increased flooding in some places, and ironically, more prolonged droughts in others. Whilst this situation is serious, it's not too late, and we can all play our part in a more sustainable society. In that vein, I'm glad to see that some of you from the Diploma in Chemical Process Technology have already been doing your bit to understand our local environment through biodiversity surveys in your neighborhood park to ascertain the park's environmental health. An excellent example of each one of us getting involved 
doing our bit and in making a difference. We can all make a difference. I'd like to end by quoting from one of my favorite scientists, the late Jacob Bronowski, a world-leading mathematician and latterly a biologist. He said, we're all afraid for our confidence, for the future, for the world. That is the nature of human imagination. Yet every man, every civilization has gone forward because of its engagement with what it has set itself to do. The personal commitment of a man to his skill, the intellectual commitment, and the emotional commitment working together as one has made the ascent of man. Once again, I extend my heartiest congratulations on the successful completion of your studies here, and I sincerely wish each and every one of you great success in your career and in your further studies. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Carpenter. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the presentation of diplomas to the graduates. This afternoon, we will be presenting diplomas and other awards to 445 graduates from the School of Chemical and Life Sciences. May I now call upon the Director of the School of Chemical and Life Sciences, Dr. Adrian Yeo, to present the diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Chemical Engineering. Adeline Ta Suet Yi. Adin Sukipto. Cecilia Go Ching Yi. Chiu Bun Chin Feng Wei Le Gui Tsai Ting Liu Chong Xiang Abdul Majid bin Muhammad Ansari Aizad Aizuddin bin Azra Ang Kun Liang Arun Payalod Koyi Parambath Bilji Temuchin Osilik Boon Wei Mak Brandon Ko Tian Wei Brian Chong Jin Hao Chen Jun Guang Chung Sin Hui Daniel Hun Wentie
Daryl Ong Junsien. Elisha Chua Shu Yan. Farid bin Bidin. Fitri Hakim bin Mohi. Geraldine Tio Chiao Yi. Gui Ming Yang. Go Chun Ming. Go Ro Chi Stanley. Gurujit Singh Sangha. Jessica Go Suk Mei. Joel E. Wei Hao. Jonathan E. Wei Ming. Kam Wei Liang. Ku Yin Le. Ko Hui Min. Lai Ping Ken. Li Wai Xuan. Li Wei Song. Liao Shu Yuan Michelle Lim Kyok Fei Lim Se Kang Lim Yan Cho Lim Chao Hua Lim Chao Hui Darren Marsha Vostin Marcelo Muhammad Haizi Nizam bin Hassan. Muhammad Jufri bin Hassan Muhammad. Muhammad Kairul bin Abdullah. Muhammad Asfar bin Sulaiman Muhammad Faisal bin Hasnan Muhammad Haikal bin Salihan Muhammad Muzakir Fitri bin Muhammad Kir. Muhammad Rafiuddin bin Salim.
Muhammad Ruzdi bin Abdul Wahad. Ng Wenjie. Ng Yongren. Norfiza binti Abdul Aziz. Ong Kian Li Derek. Ong Mu Pei. Penny Tan Pei Ying. Si Yong Zheng, Celine Ng Si Lin, Sharanya Guna, Xiao Yuanjie Ashley. Surya Prakash Kali Selvan Said Abu Thahi Jabrula Tan Ding Yi Desmond Tan Jian Han Tan Li Heng Jovin Tan Pei Shan Tan Ting Sin Tan Ye Sheng Joshua Tio Kaiju Tio Ting Hao Ian To Han Chen Victor Ng Wei Xiang Vinod Bakat Ashok Kumar Wang Hui Wei Chin Leong Winston Lee Wenjie Yadana Nunthan Yazin Ashal Mokafa bin Hamza Yo Seong Soon Leslie Jo Meng Je Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Chemical Process Technology. Chang Xue Ling. Chong Wei Yuan.
Daphne Cool Rayun. Eileen Wong Yanju, Elizabeth Han Si En, He Gun Wei, Kung Wei Jian. Lu Yuexun, Lui Yilian, Sam Zhiyu, Tay Sheng Li Danny To Wei Sing Adeline Lai Song Yi Ideal Sufyan Bin Sohani Elvin Christopher Teo Amelia Tan Xiang Lin Ang Yi Ling Ang Jun Hao Ang Ziyuan, Cai Li Ting, Cham Dao Xiong, Chan Xue Wei Amanda. Chang Kuo Rei Joel Charmaine Wong Jia Hui Chi Li Yi Chi Xue Ting Chen Yongsheng Cheryl Ho Yen Ting Chiu Yun Wei Chia Kai Yang Kenneth Chong Xiang Kiet Chong Siu Yan Christina Chung Sin Yi Chao Wen Yi Q 
缺配枕。冲军街 ，Edmund。Eddie w e e s e r h o l e d m u n d Tan King Yen。Eva Tan。Evoxia Hongheng, Go Jeffrey, Go Junker. Go, Jizing. Gracia Romilda Chandra. Hannes Harris. Hao Yinyuan, Huang Raylin, Huang Zhixin, Insira Binti Norden, Ivan Tay Chin Sing, James Dan Chu. Jennifer Chuang Jia En. Jerome Sim Yuket, Jiao Jiao, Joel Chong Ka Yong, Jasmine Lim Jia Hui. Kang Engcheng, Kang Guosheng, Jasmine, Ku Qianying, Ko Kokwei. Ko Tianwen Jin, Ko Zhiwei, Quack Hui Yi, Law Kuang Yong Bernard. Lawrence Cha Wei Long, Li Chi Wei,
林宝莲。林成凯，林设家弗曼托，林威生 Jeremy。林子谦，林俊彦 Benjamin， 林威伦。Linus Lau Jun Ling, Luo Jia Ying Hilda, Luo Jie Hui, Luo Ka Bun. Lu Suting Hazel, Lu Chuanson, Lynette Sim Tianling. Ma Hui Xian, Melvin Tiong Chia Chung, Michelle Chen Mei Jing. Muhammad Shayamsi bin Muhammad Razali, Muhammad Firdaus bin Moidin Pile, Muhammad Yazid bin Kamaludin. Muhammad Alif bin Saliman, Muhammad Arma bin Zaini, Muhammad Arshad Aslam bin Muhammad Ismail. Muhammad Faisal bin Elias, Muhammad Farhan bin Muhammad Azman, Muhammad Furkan bin Muhammad Shahir, Muhammad Ghazali bin Abdul Raza. Muhammad Nasiruddin bin Jumari, Muhammad Saiful bin Maat, Muhammad Shah Rizal bin Ramli. Muhammad Shazwan bin Jumat. Muhammad Yusri bin Roman.
Nabila binti Abdul Aziz. Nazira binti Siron. Niu Shu Wen. Niu Li Yan. Eng Shi Heng Julian. Eng Xin Ning. Eng Ting Selina. Eng Yan Cheng. Eng Yi Lin. Nuyan Chung Tian Pu. Nuru Anisha Muhammad Sidi. Nor Ashila binti Ibrahim. Nor Fadlina binti Miswan. Nor Zahira binti Zainal. Nor Liana binti Lili. Nurul Huda binti Norman. Nurul Huda binti Samad. O Ming Huat. Ong Feng Hao. Ong Shi Yi Jesse. Ong Wei Xiong. Ong Yan Xuan. Ong Yi Jia. Ong Yi Wen. Pala Niapan Sita Lakshmi. Pe Wei Lun. Pong Suk Yi. Po Kian Hao James. Po Shi Zhen. Po Ying Tian. Prachna Tanuvijaya. Jaya. 
Rauda binti Muhammad. Regina Lo Manting. Robin Yo Chuan Sui Samili Irasan Si Shun Chen Shamain Nokashdina Binti Samsi Shannon Wong Siti Aisha Binti Muhammad Sali Siti Aisha Binti Mustafa Siti Hayat Binti Muhammad Syed Siti Maisara Binti Kasmani So Soon Hong So Sin Wen Stanley Chu Yao Liang Suhaila binti Abdul Raza Shafika Raihani binti Sarum Said Muhammad Saddam bin Said Osman Tan Tia Ying Tan Jie Min Jamin Tan Li Wen Tan Peng Xiang Tan Rei Ho Tan Shu Yi Tan Si Ling Tan Sun An Kenny Tan Zi Lui Larissa Tan Wen Bin Tan Yan Yan Tang Kang Yu Nicholas Tae Jing Yun Tae Xue Ying Esther Tio Bun Yi Tio Swan Luck Taryn 
Chan Ru Chou. Terence T. Yong Kang. Thin Yi Lin. Teresa. Vincent Jonas Lim. Wang Lian Rei Wei Chong Yu Wilson Ku Wu Sheng Wang Qi Xian Wong Chi Ho Benjamin Wong Ren On Wong Zhi Yuan Christopher Yo Kai Jie Yo Singing Clara Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Food Science and Technology Qian Feng Ming Li Huiwen Pei Chin Ping Tanya Setiawati Andy Tiara Binti Sajadi Ang Shi Yun Charmaine Benjamin Huang Mo Qian Chan James Yongsen Chang Wenlock Chen Yingjie Cheryl Kang Jiaoqing Chu Chon Man Chong Tian Hui Chu Wei Guang Chao Mei Yi Joyce Christina Sugiharto Candy Chu Yuqian Rene Chu 
华会议。Jogeswari Ravi. Esther Gusty. Fan Han Yao Joel. Fatin Shahira binti Muhammad Nordin. Fu Yongki. Go Jin Li. Ho Yi Ling. Hong Chi Rong, Iqbal Pratama Putra bin Azman, Jaslyn Ang Chen Hui, Joanne Lim Yu Mei. Junice Lim Jin Yin, Lam Yi Shi, Li Ching Wei, Liang Xiechi Jesse. Lim Jia Yi, Lim Qing Hui, Lim Xin Hui, Lim Ying. Lim Yongchang, Liao Yingxuan, Luo Ximin Jasmine, Lu Huiru. Muhammad Saiful Lizam bin Masto, Nada Saswani binti Abdul Rahim, Eng Yunjie, Noraniza binti Muhammad Isa, Nor Aini binti Ramli, Nor Haniza binti Kamsani. Noliana binti Abdul Rahim, O Hui Chi, Ao Yong Sin Wei Geraldine.
行结尾。Peggy Tan Pansi. Samantha Chua Mingyan. San Ka Lok. Serena Tan Tik Gik, Xia Rei Ying, Tan Jun Wen, Tan Kiet Lun. Tan Wei Xuan, Jason. Tan Zixi. Tio Jingyi. Tio Jinxiong. Cho Chiao Xin, Cho Xin Yu, Cho Xin Ni, Cho Yi Xiu. Tou Ziti, Sui Weiti, Verona Te Chaiyun. Wang Junyong, Wang Yinman, Yu Jiali, Zhang Jingjing. Chong Yuying, ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the diploma in nutrition, health, and wellness. Chan Ka Yang, Anton Hendraputra Lim. Chua Chong Yi, Clarissa Tang Yok Ling, Dina Faradina Binti Jamaludin. Elizabeth Giam Tie Huan, Filza Binti Abdul Rahim, Go Pei Yun,
Grace Liu Zhen. Huang Yingxian, Jarina Wang Shanping, Jessica Ong Chunhui, Julie Chua. Ko Huifen Rachel, Ko Jianhua Kenny, Lim Si Cheng, Lin Zi An. Liu Yuheng, Marcus Tan Yongwei, Muhammad Harris bin Abu Hassan. Eng Man Hong Melody, Eng Xiao Jun, Eng Zi Ling. Nor Shafika binti Zainal. Ong Jia Min. Rahayu binti Haris. Tan Yingxin. Teresa Chia Yujun, Trina Lam Jie Lei, Wu Yun Sam. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the list of graduates from the School of Chemical and Life Sciences. Thank you, Dr. Yeo. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present the prizes. May I invite Mr. Tan Han Chiong, Principal of Singapore Polytechnic, to present the following prizes. Mr. Tan, please. From the Diploma in Chemical Engineering course, the Institution of Engineers Singapore Prize, Tan Ching Wei. The Institution of Chemical Engineers Award, Peng Wing Chi. The Aventis Farmer Farm Manufacturing Award, Wiener Santi.
from the Diploma in Chemical Process Technology course, the Techno Apex Asia Award, Chia Ching Kiat. The Plastics and Rubber Institute Singapore Award, Chua Sin Pei. The Surface Finishing Technologies Award, Go Wei Lun. The WR Grace Award, Justina Binti Osman. Receiving the Shimazu Asia Pacific Awards are Tung Wei Yi Daniel, and Nasuha Binti Rohaizat. The Singapore Surface Engineering Association Award, Sang Hui Ling. From the Diploma in Food Science and Technology course, the Nairo Award, Singapore Institute of Food Science and Technology Award, Kam Lintul Scholarship and Swift Health Food Award, Chua Xiao Yan. The Gan Hap Lee Award, Lee Chia Min. The ALS Technicum Award, Tan Wee Ni. The Shimazu Asia Pacific Award, Tia Bun Siang. That concludes the presentation of prizes. Thank you, Mr. Tan. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present medals to our top graduates for excelling in their courses of study. May I invite Dr. Keith Carpenter, Executive Director of the A-Star Institute of Chemical Engineering Science, to present the medals. Dr. Carpenter, please. <clears throat> From the Diploma in Chemical Engineering course, the Grown Force Silver Medal is awarded to Gavin Wong Wei Lun. The Shell Singapore Gold Medal and Singapore Chemical Industry Council Award are awarded to Matthew James. From the Diploma in Chemical Process Technology course, the MegaChem Silver Medal, GSK Medicinal Chemistry Award and WR Grace Award are awarded to Tan Li Min. The Croda Singapore Gold Medal and Perkin Elmer Book Prize are awarded to Tan Chiu Xia. From the Diploma in Food Science and Technology course, the Kikoman Singapore Silver Medal and Taihua Food Industries Award are awarded to Tan Hui Ling.
The Singapore Food Manufacturers Association Gold Medal is awarded to Te Xia Lin. From the Diploma in Nutrition, Health and Wellness course, the School of Chemical and Life Sciences Silver Medal is awarded to Tiffany Sim Shu Fei. The following graduate was awarded the Chua Cho Tech Gold Medal at the first session of the graduation ceremony. Today, the Singapore Food Manufacturers Association Gold Medal and the Shell Companies in Singapore Prize are awarded to Song Shang Chen. That concludes the presentation of top medals. Thank you, Dr. Carpenter. Ladies and gentlemen, giving the valedictory speech this afternoon is Matthew James, a graduate of the diploma course in chemical engineering. May I now call up, up, upon Matthew to deliver the farewell address on behalf of the new graduates. Matthew, please. Our guest speaker, Dr. Keith Carpenter, Principal Mr. Tan Hang Chong, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Three years ago, we made one of the most impactful decisions to enroll into Singapore Polytechnic. I vividly remember our freshman year, how clueless, anxious and excited we were, how we would wander around the campus, feeling lost because the teaching blocks all looked the same to us. Thankfully, soon after, we realized what our real objective here was, to be work ready, life ready and world ready. One of the most important lessons I learned in my final year was do not ever give up. My team almost gave up when we couldn't get the essential raw material for our final year project. It was only after one and a half months of nerve-wracking search and sleepless nights that we managed to import the material from abroad. I'm sure we all remember those dreadful months, months when we thought our project would never make it. Yet here we are, we did it. The diplomas that we receive today are the emblems of our perseverance throughout the last few years. We learned that with hard work, dedication, and the burning desire to reach for our goals, there's nothing that we cannot achieve. We came to SP as a freshman, and today we are walking out equipped with the necessary skills to face the world. And I sincerely thank Singapore Polytechnic for doing such a wonderful job in preparing us for that. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the lecturers and technical support officers who have been there for us all the time. They are the reasons we became aware of issues, realities, and perspectives that we hardly gave a thought to before. We are also grateful to our families, to my dearest mom and my sister. I appreciate all that you have done for me. Fellow graduates, <laughs> last but not least to my fellow graduates, I will always cherish our wonderful friendships with you guys. I'm glad to say that because I knew you, I have been changed for the better. Three years ago, I made the bold decisions to leave my friends my family and my hometown in KL for an education in Singapore Polytechnic. Now, if I were to be asked if I made the right choice, I would gladly quote the celebrated American poet Robert Frost. Two roads diverge in the wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Congratulations, CLS graduates of 2012. We did it!
Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony is now adjourned. May I invite all to stand? The procession groups will now leave the convention hall. Thank you for your patience. Please join us for the tea reception at the plaza outside the convention centre. May I invite parents and guests to leave the convention centre first. Have a good day.